We've been missing some of these Flashpoint douches for a while. Oh, Look at there they are. It's uh, Gene Gene the Jesus Machine, Lanny Walnuts, Hank Cooney Coon, and Mario Scario live from the middle of the street in San Francisco. Um, this this video is called Flashpoint. It's unraveling. Mike Lindell, Lanny, Lance, uh, Lanny Walnuts, Hank Cooney Coon, Mario uh, Scario, 12, 14, 21. Very exciting. Here we go. If we all come together in the body of Christ, isn't it? I, if I was Bongino, I would call this filth. Mm -hmm. It is, but I also think of it not just in this context of unity. I think of it in the context mm -hmm. of separation. Unity! All right. That God is doing to really begin to identify who are those that are really, really on the Lord's side and what he feels uh -huh. about what is happening in our nation and what we should be doing as a voice collectively uh -huh. in the nation. And so I look right. at it from the standpoint that God, like in the days of uh, Gideon's army, you know, he's bringing it down to really those who are going to. Hank. Wrap it up. Two specific things and... Oh, hi. Thanks, hi. Is that one of those for me? Would you like um, from macchiato or a peppermint mocha? I don't know. Which one do you have dibs on? I just bought both. Pe peppermint. Merry Christmas. Thanks, my love. Okay. I'll be along in a minute. I'm dealing with some right-wing preachers. Yeah, you're fine. So I brought you coffee? Huh? So I brought you coffee? Yeah, thank you. Um, my girl uh, stopped for coffee. There you go. You know that there was 300 that were chosen by the Lord out of 32. Yes, and they came forward and they went, This is Sparta! I remember and that. And it wasn't because they were just so caught up in their own need for nah. refreshing or their own personal need. When they went down to the water, the Bible says they took of their hand and they brought the water mm -hmm. up to their mouth. Yes, to be refreshed, to be personally ministered to, so to speak. To, yes, to brush their teeth. Yes to floss. Yes to practice good dental hygiene. But they kept Shit. their eye on an enemy that was trying to destroy them and their nation. And out of that... Sep they, and, and the Lord said, let them drinketh upon the waters and sippeth of their coffee, but never take their eye off their enemy. God brought a unity, Hank. but it was the very Hank, 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 fucking you're rambling again. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Thing that defeated the enemy and actually brought deliverance to a nation. And I feel like that's exactly what. Oh, that's that's why our ass hurts. He brought deliverance to a nation. What is doing. And uh, I want to say this last thing. You know, you showed something with Lance uh, regarding some of those those tweets and so forth. But here's the real deal. God prophesied two weeks yeah. ago that we are coming into the season of the former and reformers. And some of these politicians and those that really are trying to destroy America are going to be known as the uh -huh. former because new faces are coming on the scene as not wait, sorry, the former as opposed to the latter. What? God's separation, and uh, they're going to be the reformers of this generation and the future. That's right. Uh, in fact, I want to play this. What do you mean? What, what, what the fuck do you mean that's right? What? Bring in Mike Lindell. I'm so fucking confused. Uh, this representative from Georgia, uh, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene. Look at what she had to say. We've heard a lot oh about text messages. I'd like to, the Democrats to produce their text messages, Mr. Speaker, denouncing Antifa BLM riots that raged across American cities for a year. I would love to read those. Well, well, who says that there are any? Aren't you, aren't you saying that they were actually supportive of them? So, hmm? But instead, we saw Democrats encourage, incite, and continue to call these riots mm -hmm. peaceful. And then when they got a... Well, no, nobody called the riots peaceful. The protests were largely largely peaceful. And that's the thing that we were talking about and that needed to go forward and stuff. The riots and the looting were separate. You guys were overlapping them to denigrate the actual peaceful protest by, by labeling all protests as riots and looting so that... You could avoid talking about the subject that was the point of the protest in the first place. I'm sorry to interrupt. 
Uh, you were saying something about a sex guru and your Been husband put in jail. It. They bailed him out so they could go out and riot some more. I rise in opposition to this resolution to hold Mark Meadows in contempt of Congress because it's being uh -huh. held by nothing but a kangaroo court. Congress is. Oh, I, I, I'd like to, if I, if I may, if I'd be allowed. Um, uh, we hear a lot about um, kangaroo courts. Uh, people shit on them all the time. But um, quite frankly, ma'am, a kangaroo court, you can't miss out on it. It's a great, it's actually one of the most fair courts you can ever experience. A kangaroo courts where I, you know, where many of us study long and hard. They, they, they keep their, you know, the law in their pouch, as we like to say. You know, you don't want a wallaby. No, I mean, and don't get me like a Tasmanian devil court. Forget about it. They just roll in. The judge just rolls in, going blah 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 blah, and then he uh, and then scares the shit out of everyone. I mean, come on, <laughs> stop shitting on kangaroo courts. Job <laughs> is to make laws, not enforce them. That's the role of the executive and the judicial branch of this government. But somehow the communists here in charge huh? have forgotten, or no, not forgotten, or purposely abusing the Constitution and what this, this body of Congress is supposed to do. You see, when we go to this level, to the point where we're forgetting and abusing what our power is, then the American people... Well, no, you're voting on it because your power not only exists, but also it requires this vote. If this power doesn't exist, then they wouldn't even be able to call for a vote. There wouldn't even be a historically obvious way of doing this. If they didn't have the power to do this, they'd have to draft. You'd, you would have voted months ago on a law allowing for this. This shit's been around forever. Why is this weird? How is what? will trust us no more. And that is exactly what this committee is doing. I agree 100 percent there, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Well, good. Maybe you can explain it to us, Jean Jean, the Jesus machine. What the fuck was she talking about? How can you overuse a power you don't have that you're actually going through the process of slow rolling by taking a vote on a power that you actually have? Uh, you know, uh uh, Lance, you know what she said, she just echoed the yeah. sentiment of the American people in in total. Just did did she there? Yeah, yeah. Why, why didn't you open up with that? That would have been a shot of espresso for me to have Marjorie Taylor Greene, because what she said in that segment. Oh, no. Lanny Walnuts is getting he's chubbing. That gets you know what I got? Look what I got, Gene. I oh, got no. a hippopotamus oh, no. right here. You know why? Because all those guys are a bunch of hippocriters. That's what they are. A bunch. Oh, this is this is a show for adults. By the way, if you're ever wondering how Lanny uh, gets the kids in the van, now you know. Hippocriters up there on the hill, and uh, I think that the American people, sixty percent, sixty-five percent of them, grown man, grown man that are surveyed right now they're looking at the gas tank and they're looking at the delay in the christmas packages and they're looking at the are 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 they they're looking at the gas tank you mean gas prices i suppose which are going down but whatever uh and the delay of the christmas packages which aren't being delayed you mean the empty Sh store shelves that aren't empty down that's happening in, in violent crime and mobs that are breaking into stores <laughs> the american people aren't looking at these yeah yeah I, I i mean i wasn't even able to take part in any of this shit hold on I, where is where do they bring in we've heard their nonsense before where do they bring in mike lindell in this stuff oh there he is is that him nope that's hank cooney coon oh there he is let's skip ahead because i'm already running late anyways but i want him to bring in uh, because it's the same shit. They say same the same thing shit. is going to happen jump for ahead. the United States of America. This is going to backfire on them. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Oh, that was an edit. Fuck, this is a whole second. <laughs> Friend Mike Lindell, MyPillow.com. Welcome back to the show, Mike. Tell us what's been going on uh, with the Supreme Court. Any news? Yeah, my, 
Yeah, tell them the news, Mike, on the Supreme Court. I mean, I've been waiting. We're all waiting with bated breath. Tell us what's up. I'm so excited. This, I mean, this has got to be good news. They're definitely hearing it. Let's go. There. Well, let me let me say first here before I forget. Um, I just watched. Why? How would you forget? You're reading from notes. The first part of your show, where you, where Tucker was saying on Fox, on remember on Fox, he's on Fox. Why haven't they been charged? And then he said, the public deserves to know what happened that day. The Fox News and all the conservative media has just completely. Um, they're our biggest threat because they've suppressed everything. They've been yes, yes. Hell, Jesus, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody, gospel, gospel's coming on. There we go. This is the gospel of the Mike Lindell Show. Well, come on now, everybody, jump and shout. Everybody, be happy when Republicans fight Republicans. Uh, attack the rhinos, foxes got to go down. Oh yeah. Hey, we're preaching at the tree of your choir, screaming at the choir. All right. <laughs> Shit. They canceled our voices. Oh, the Supreme Court case, everybody. The uh, oh shit, they 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 cut him out. Look at that, they edited him down. Thing they've been, they've canceled our voices. Oh, the look at that, they were like he rambled on about Fox too long, and they were like they cut a huge chunk of it out. He's still smiling about it. Court case, everybody. The attorney generals have asked to do. Uh, they asked for some revisions. And Oh, okay. They've asked for some revisions. I see. Tell them what they're gonna the do. The revisions are gonna be completed by tomorrow morning. But Jane, we've got to. Oh, tomorrow morning. Uh, it's like Christmas, but like if Christmas never happened thing going they so the supreme court case uh -huh. i've been like i said i've been with attorney generals the last week and a half but there's more great oh news my coming. god truth is the oh, ultimate good. defense in a defamation case remember oh that, yes absolutely that it is true to truth is absolute uh, the prayers everybody will be when we when my pillow brings this to the to the to that judge that the judge says you know what you have destroyed all wait 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 a minute how is my pillow gonna bring this to a judge what how it so happen how much both what well, I understand if my whoopie gonna bring it how is my pillow gonna bring it I thought you gonna bring it Remember, the prayers everybody will be when we when my pillow brings this to the to the to that judge that the judge says, you know what, you have that. I'm. Why would a pillow bring a thing to a judge? I'm a. I don't know what happening. Destroyed all this evidence. Therefore, these uh -huh. cases go bye bye. And if they go bye bye, they go bye bye. Go bye bye. Everything don't know. Go bye bye. Bye bye, pillow. Bye bye, judge too. Then Fox and Newsmax will have no more excuses to not report the truth in our country. Seriously, no, thank you. That's right. And and not and also Flashpoint not gonna have any excuses to edit Mike Lindell down in little bite-sized pieces so it'll make it look like he makes sense. On behalf of the American people for what you've done, you've taken this battle uh, personally and you've stood up for a lot of. Yes, but in all fairness, he take everything personally. Everything he takes. Crack personally that didn't know what to do next. So speaking of what to do next, what can we do about. I, oh, I, I, he can do do a couple of things next. This this case that's going. How can we support what's happening? Yeah, yeah how do you go? Different ways, everybody. If you go to frankspeech.com, okay. I want. You oh, I've been now. We go to Frank Speech all the time. My dad is on that website all by ever of our day. Down, you can click on Supreme Court. You can call your uh -huh. our, the Supreme Court complaint. You can call your attorney general uh, yeah. and reach out to him. I, I'd like all of them on board. Really encourage everyone in Wisconsin. Yeah. Go to frankspeech.com. Go down to yes. the little icon that shows Wisconsin. Click on that, and you have okay. all your all your state sent. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not allowed. Every time we try to put your website in, uh, the child blocker shuts it off because apparently it suggests 
that I should use some blood clotting goo on on my uh, my dingles. As you can reach out to, and we're in the greatest revival in history, and uh, yeah. and for Jesus. And oh, I thought this was something else. This is where we're at, and it's it is. Uh, um, I have so much enthusiasm because it's like. You can, I can kind of mm -hmm. see out there, we wouldn't have all these pieces and things. If we didn't have anything, yeah. we'd be going, okay, it's end times, we're all going to heaven. But I believe God's given us. Yeah, that which would be good news or bad news. I'm confused. You seem excited because not, we're not going to heaven. Are you excited to go to hell? I said H-E double hockey sticks, I'm sorry. He's here, Amen. and uh, we need to use this time to bring other people to Jesus, and uh, and that's what this, like, this event. That's, wait a minute, so you're going, so this is a lawsuit to force people to go to Jesus before Christmas? It's going to do, it's going to be amazing. I want to just say huh? this, for those of you that are watching and even listening. Ah! He doesn't, uh, sorry, Hanky Cooney Coon and uh, Jean Jean the Jesus Machine and Mario Scario and uh, Lanny Walnuts all scare baby Hal. He can't come, he can't be on the air. Mike is doing. Mike, I applaud you. God applauds you. You're on the Lord's side. Why, why would God applaud? What is, how, how does one hear the applause of God? Is it in the beating of the wings of the birds? And God always will separate light from darkness. He will always uh, bring a... Yes, by uh, rotating the planet in some cases. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the level of darkness, but we're also with the awakening sure. and with the renewal that he mentioned is we are in the middle of mm -hmm. the great light and that great light overcomes the ah. darkness. And I want you to remember. I see. So just in, just in case you guys are keeping track, the great light uh, overcomes the darkness, even though the darkness comes back. It's all separated, though. It's all separated something before i pray and that is this 2022 is something i do before i pray count my money will be very uniquely defined by god it's the year the lord is declaring you, that Q. the king remembers don't think god didn't see watch and know what they did and he's not done yet and the other thing that we have to remember oh shit they're they're editing hank cooney coon as well is jesus said how do you mm -hmm. clean a house out unless you first bind the strong man then you are able to spoil his kinky or to stop his agenda i stretch my hands towards mike lind oh wait a minute hold on they're cutting it in the middle of a prayer and those lord that he is working together for the sake not only of thy kingdom but father of this nation and we pray according to psalm 37 that every evil doer will not only be exposed but as your word declared um, by the way, I don't know if you've watched the whole program, but as soon as he said that, uh, all their clothes flew off. Will be cut off. God, you are laughing from heaven, as Psalm 37 says, because you know that those who have done these treasonous acts, those who have conspired uh -huh. to harm our nation, to steal, kill, and destroy. Are hysterical. You're laughing from heaven because you know it's, these are the things of man and you're not troubled by them. God is, is, so God is basically like an audience member to these assholes. All he does is clap and laugh. According to Psalm 37, they shall have their day. God, we are calling upon righteousness. <laughs> we are declaring your justice. Oh, 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 sorry. If you're calling upon righteousness, Mike, you're going to, you might want to leave the room. And I pray for the favor of God now. Holy Spirit, go forth, the spirit of truth, and speak to uh -huh. the attorney generals. Speak to those that need to get on board. Well, 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 they need to get on board. Lord, we need more people to get on board. Get with, may they uh, lay their hands upon the program and get with the program, Lord. Lord, we call forth you that they may find through thy divine wisdom to get thy shit together. I can get with the program. And Lord God of hosts, give divine grace and favor as you even speak to the Supreme Court. We bind the devil. We bind any satanic interference. All right, all right, all right. Enough. This is 
I don't want to yuck anybody's yum, but this is too kinky for my show. That would try to delay or interrupt or frustrate this purpose. And God made. Th- no, no, never, never be afraid to bind someone to avoid frustration of your purpose, your special purpose. The kingdom come and your will be established. And God, uh-huh. remember what they did. Remember the United States and God. Bl- hold, 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 hold on. How are you telling God to remember the United States? The fuck? America. America. How? Oh, what a bunch of douchebags. I uh, I went long tonight. I was supposed to go in for rehearsal tonight. And I couldn't make it because of stuff we had to do here. I'm sad. But I'm glad to be with you guys. And I appreciate your support and your help. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Support the show in any way that you can. Share it around. We're trying to increase our numbers. And I'm terrible at selling it. God, for God darn darn. Um, but uh, <laughs> every everything that that we saw today, like the flailing about that's going on amongst these idiots. Understand that Mike Lindell, um, as it is, I mean, is a laughable figure, no question, but he's also a, he's a prick, just a terrible person. And you know, people by the company they keep. All of those guys, all the all Gene Gene the Jesus Machine and all the guys on Kenneth Copeland's network on Flashpoint are just fucking awful. And fr- you know, from someone who was baptized when he was eleven years old, they're liars and fake Christians. It's gross. It's grotesque. As as Dan Bongino, who's looking for a teepee for his bunghole, would say, it's filth. <laughs> 